Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight Dueling Coaster Contest Edition. That is right, we are beginning. This is the first episode of the Dueling Coaster Contest Marathon, so stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, welcome back, everyone. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. As I mentioned, this is the first creation of the Dueling Coaster contest. And if you guys want to know more about the contest in general, I would have had a video come up right before this. I'll have a link down in the description below, and it's going to talk about how many submissions we had, the general rules, going over everything, and what you can expect from the contest, and so on and so forth. So if you want more information on how you're going to vote on these creations as a viewer, if you want to know more about the rules to help you vote, if you just want more information, go click the link down in the description below and watch that quick video before you jump onto this one. And with that out of the way, we're starting with the beginner bracket. So let's check out the first creation of the contest for the beginners, which is Island Skirmish, created by Katrina Kitty Cat, one of our Discord beginner builders. And here they say... Island Skirmish is a battle on a tropical island for a secret recipe. Tiki versus Captain Lockjaw. While far from the best dueling coasters in the world due to having only one interaction between the trains and has proven to be very popular and brings in a ton of people to visit Tiki's Island. Ride view preferences. Ride is best view in seat one on the front car on both sides. 10 a.m. also for the lighting. All right, we're diving right on into things. So here is the uh, island creation, Island Scrimmish. So this is Tiki's Island from my understanding, and it is Tiki versus Captain Lockjaw. So we see Captain right here. We see some pirate assets. And the whole idea, I mean, again, go go check out the information on the contest, but this is a versus contest. So we have Lockjaw versus Tiki, which shall we start with? Well, because this is Tiki's Island, I feel like it's appropriate to start with Tiki. So with this, we have uh, fully integrated parks. So you can build as much as you want in your park file. They are like mini parks with massive coasters. Coasters don't have to be massive. But uh, yeah, so we have queues. That's a fast pass. Let's check out the actual queue. Big and windy. Not a whole lot of decorations going on here. And when you guys judge these, you're going to be judging these as a, an entire package. And it's really up to you to decide the rules of what you vote on and why. So here we go. We are at the first coaster of the day, which is Tiki. Both of these look to be RMC coasters. Bit of an exploration based off the results. 1,300 meters in length. Getting a little bit high on the max of vertical Gs there. Lateral as well, but that is quite okay. I will cut to it when one arrives.
Okay, we will talk about the coasters in just a sec, but we're going to jump right over to the next one, and then we'll have a discussion about the creation. So here's a look at the stats on the Captain Lockjaw coaster if you want to see them. Again, getting pretty high on those max vertical Gs, as well as the lateral and the minimum vertical. Okay, let's talk about it. Starting with the coasters, both were very radical and they needed a lot of smoothing and extra time put into the banking, the smoothing, and just the overall keeping an eye on your heat maps and test results. So if we go here, even looking at the vertical G-forces, it's getting high here and here. There, none of the heat maps were looked at for these coasters and they were very extreme. When you're coming down into hot corners from a big lift like that you want to add more banking and round those corners out so you can lower those lateral G's in specific areas so it's always important to pay attention to your heat maps because they're gonna show you when the coaster is getting a little too extreme you could definitely feel that from the rider perspective with that I don't feel like the coasters are exactly ready and they could definitely use with about an hour's worth of smoothing per coaster and it's not a whole lot of extra work and then let's talk about the dueling aspects about these coasters well if we fast forward it here and let some come up the lift uh, I don't feel like the the dueling aspect of them were actually competitive at all it felt as if the tiki coaster was always a mile ahead of the pirate coaster or the lockjaw coaster when we rode the Tiki Coaster first, I thought, okay, that's strange. We're not seeing any interaction between these coasters. And we even have an element here, which could have been really cool if the Tiki Coaster was going across and the uh, Lockjaw was just fishtailing behind it ever so slightly. Even our lift is a little bit wobbly here where they're not even competitive out of the get-go. There needs to be a little bit of testing done between every single cycle. This one comes down the lift way faster than the other one, and it's gonna stay that way for the entirety of the coaster, uh, or for the dueling aspect. It can catch up a little bit here because this banking is a little bit shorter, but it's not quite catching up, and we're not getting any interaction. At this point here, the coaster should be coming up and around so that we have this interaction and you see that from this coaster but you also see that from this coaster so the dueling elements are a little bit uh, of a hit and miss on this one in my opinion and they weren't very competitive at all it was almost just like two coasters going around the map so i think your timing aspects weren't quite there unfortunately now talking about the theming um this is supposed to be tiki versus lockjaw but right away in the beginning you said this is tiki's island and everything seems to be adventure island uh jungle tiki related i don't see a single thing here 
indicating pirates, Lockjaw. The fact that I put pirate music and adventure music on the coasters themselves, I have already amplified or doubled the amount of theming towards the pirates, which is a little bit unfortunate as well. I'm not seeing uh, the, the pirate coaster go through any pirate ships or Caribbean areas or uh, skull caves, treasure caves, all sorts of fun things that you could create for pirates. They're just simply not here. So for me, it's a little bit of a hit and miss. I think uh, this one could definitely use a little bit more work, um, both on the coaster aspect as well as the theming aspect. It's feeling more like two jungle run RMC coasters. And even at that, the RMCs do need some work. But this is the beginner bracket after all, everybody's still learning the game. So that is my feedback to you, Katrina, Kitty Cat. Try to uh, look at your lateral ver and vertical G on your coasters try to keep an eye on the timing between your dueling coasters if you're going to make dueling coasters also be aware of your theme and try to create an equal split 50 50 mix between pirate and jungle adventure but pretty strong submission overall we have two big rmc dueling coasters pretty fun overall pretty strong submission here for our first creation of the contest what did you guys think do you have any additional feedback for katrina a kitty cat is there anything that you particularly liked about this coaster that you would change and uh, leave all your comments critiques and feedback down in the comments below and be sure to tune in for the next dueling coaster contest submission that should be in roughly 12 hours at the rate that i plan on releasing these boom so there you go ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you all in the next contest submission. Bye now.